Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here from Lombard, Illinois. This is the 39th Annual Papa Nicholas Coffee Sham Rock Shootout for the IT. I am Fabio Soto, accompanied by the lovely Carrie Wright Meyer. Carrie, Hi. so after a great first quarterfinal match, we're here to a second one, and it's going to be a good one. Uh, Rodrigo Montoya versus Andres Acuna. So Mexico versus Mexico's best player versus Costa Rica's best player. Pressure is on those two to give us a show like uh, young Jonathan Flores did. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. You know, I didn't think about it that way, but I think you're right. These guys have some pressure to live up to the, you know, that bar that uh, Flores and Kane Wazalencia said just a little while ago. I just loved if somebody didn't see the match, I, I couldn't encourage you to watch uh, a, a different match any stronger and mainly just to see the up and comers, to see the kid come into play. Do it for that reason only. But you got to interview him afterwards. Yes. And although I couldn't understand him. Um, you know, you told me what he said, and what, I mean, this kid also sounds mature and respectful somewhat beyond his years. You mentioned that he said, I just wanted to play the game as I was in it, live in the moment, something to that effect, and just how great. How I, I, uh, I'm makes me a little more impressed, I, I guess. know, right? So, uh, yeah, that was fun to interview them both, and I talked to Kane just now before he left, and, you know, kid's got a future. And uh, um, that was that was just really a treat. And again, not not talking about win loss, who won, who didn't win. Just yeah. watch the just game. Just watch the game. Watch the game. Super super fun. And we're about to get started here. Uh, Andres Acuna, I believe, will start us off with the serve as Rodrigo Montoya steps into the court. And uh, our second quarterfinal match of Fantastic Friday is about to go underway here. Also want to remind everybody that after this match, uh, our following one will be Conrado Moscoso versus Adam Atera, and the last match will be Adam Mania versus Andre Parrilla. Yeah, I mentioned that one earlier. Those two play each other a lot, and they're doubles partners, which makes it a little unique as well. But um, yeah, we're it's fun, fun Friday. Just like that's why they call it that, right? Yeah, fantastic Friday underway. Mario Mercada, I miss you. You need to uh, come back watching and online. see us. Yeah. Hey, hey. Andres Acuna. Here we go. In his signature setup. There you go. Start with a short serve. That'll be a replay. Yeah, both players getting in each other's way. Right off the bat, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice serve. Good answer by Rodrigo there. Just cleared the short line enough, and Rodrigo able to go cross court and put that away. Pull out that handy dandy stat thing. Tell us, <laughs> yeah, these two playing each other. And you know what? I, I like the demeanor right now that uh, Acuna has. He's just really, he's familiar with Rodrigo's game, and he's never been uncomfortable one to play him. Yeah, hey, they're calling that a short serve. I, yeah, again, so close, but it looked like it hit the line. They have it. I know you're looking that up for us. We'll see how many times they've met, what their uh, record is against each other. Oh, yeah, they eight serve. serve there. Wow. Cunha was all over it, just it was too good. Couldn't even get a racket on it. Good hands. So we have another interesting stat here for oh, you. All right. So Share earlier it. today, Rodrigo Montoya in the round of 16s, he met Carlos Ramirez. Okay. And it was their first time facing each other in yeah. the pro tour. Yep, I remember. I was here. Right. 
Oh, gosh. So the same stat goes for Rodrigo Montoya versus Andres Acuna. They've not been on the Pro Tour. What? What? That seems almost so, not right. So Acuna and Montoya have a, an opportunity here to uh, set a standard. So, you know, their age difference is very narrow, 28 and 27, but for a few days only a difference, <laughs> which is cool, by the way. And, uh, you know, uh, it's just the fact that Rodrigo has made uh, um, more, uh, more appearances, but for a shorter period of time. Oh, that is very yeah. interesting to me. I would so have Acuna, guessed. his first appearance at 16 years old in the Pro Tour, and Montoya was at 20 years old. Interesting, huh? Well, you very. Short serve. Well, thank you everyone for watching and tuning in. Remember, like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. Good cut off there. Yeah. As you can see, caught Andres on uh, off guard a little bit there, and he couldn't catch up to it once it was past him. There you have it. What are these guys? Uh, uh, either what? Are, what's their seed in the tournament, or what's their ranking? Two versus seven. All right. You see Andres, point. yeah, you see him kind of looking at the corner on that wall. And again, if this is the first game you're watching, the uh, glass is about a six inch gap. And behind it is that brick uh, cement wall that you see. Mm -hmm. So it can throw you off a little bit. Just a little. Yep, it's just enough. Wow, Montoya well, just blasting that one. He's off to a quick uh, lead here. Five serves one. That's correct. Five serves one. Oh. oh. So he hit Rodrigo. That's going to leave a mark. That's what they say, right? Left leg. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. Second attempt at five serves one. Mm hmm You know, I was just about to say he left it up a little too yeah. high, but then it clipped back here, so mm -hmm. it ended up working in his favor. Side out. Five serves one, coming with the drive serve here. <laughs> Set up for Rodrigo, yeah, That's he had it. lots of options there and picked the one he wanted and uh, executed it well. Yeah, now uh, Andres is just, uh, you know, not connecting on those, and, and he needs to do that in order to, I don't want to say stay in the game, but mm -hmm. keep in the game and uh, just wasn't able to execute that. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here. Andres Acuna, timeout taken. Oh, a little behind the back shot. 
Good pick up by Montoya. Pickup, yeah. Oh, perfect. Acuna, wow, what a great shot. Timeout worked. At least it got him one point. Sure, uh, if you thought that was a screen serve or yeah, that Z to the backhand. Just uh, set Rodrigo up too nicely to hit that cross yeah. court just out of the reach of Andres. So we have seven serves three in the first game here of the second match mm -hmm. of the quarterfinals of the 39th annual Papa Nicholas tournament. That's a good return of serve from Andres Acuna to get that side out. Acuna still trailing by four though. People are starting to trickle in. I heard there's uh, tacos for the players yeah. in the other room. So at first we started here and there wasn't a lot of people, but now it's uh, filling up. Oh, that's the shot he wanted. That's yep. a shot. Yep, the position he wanted. Just uh, couldn't quite make it happen. short serve brings up a second serve for Rodrigo and Andres is going to get a kind of a junk Z which did not bode well for Andres but good choice for Rodrigo Just too tough. Yeah. Follows that, tracks that ball well, and then, you know, gets the winner, winner pinch. Just gave Rodrigo too many options there. Um, you know, a, another junk serve to Andres gives uh, Rodrigo a, a plethora of shots to choose yeah. from, and it looks like uh, Andres is going to take a timeout here. A timeout taken. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck, and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just. I've always loved how Gearbox is felt, and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. IRT wants to remind you that the Costa Rican Open is happening, Carry June 12th through the 15th. That's Andres Acuñas' home country. We're so excited to go back to Costa Rica. Yeah, I'd like to go there too. Well, you can. I, yeah, I sure could. Thank <laughs> you. 
I like to go when it's uh, not so nice in Nebraska, but in June or July, what, what month did you say it was? Yeah, June 12th June, or the 15th. Yeah, so in, in Nebraska in June, it's gorgeous. So I don't, we don't go too many warm places then. Skip by Skip Andres. Shot. We're at 11, three. We got us a good rally here. Oh, no, Montoya tried to play Q with that uh, reverse pinch, but no, didn't happen. Andres gets in, serving three, serves 11. Yeah, Andres had an opportunity to. Good pickup by Montoya. Very nice. Can't get that one off the back wall and Acuna trying to rally here. He's down by seven. As we say though, a lot of game left. Yeah. So four serves 11. Alan Natera is in the house. That's what's fun about these tournaments for those of you out there wondering uh, you know, I play rack and I play five times a week and I don't need to go to a tournament or why would I play a tournament or I'm not good enough to play a tournament. You know why you do it? Because we're all here like-minded. Yeah. We're, we're here because we love the sport and it, you know, gives us whatever it gives you, your exhilaration or your competitiveness, competitive edge. And it's just fun to hang around. And in clubs like this, you're eating tacos next to the number four player in the world you know it just it's it's a nice atmosphere and if for no other reason and I always tell people um, when I work with them too you you can really learn a lot by watching oh god you yes really can believe it or not some of that does seep you, into you you know what I was told that many years ago by a professional former professional racquetball player and Pan American champion uh, Rosie Torres from Mexico and she told me that uh, one of the methods that she used to learn racquetball when she was a youngster is watching pro players play and look at their skills and mechanics look at the mistakes look at the, what they do what they don't do is you have to think about it that way she told me because in the end you watch soccer you watch football you watch baseball you see the replays you watch the pros racquetball is the same thing right you need to watch the pros and correct that and uh, look at what they can do and yeah it's uh, definitely something we look forward to yeah I uh when I work with uh, Lucas, you know, that's the same thing. I really enjoy being able to come and, and mm -hmm. point out those things that we talk about and why they make a difference. And yeah, great diving get. Oh, we're not done yet either. Uh, now we're done. <laughs> nice shot. You know, uh, Acuna had so many opportunities during that rally. Wow. Lovely replay that we can have here on the screen so you can appreciate the beauty of this mechanics. <laughs> Uh, so he's serving at 13. Oh, great pick up there by Andres. Oh, no. just too much to catch up to. Rodrigo kind of hit a goofy yeah. somewhat around the world shot that... Uh, Ended up dying over here and in the Mon corner. Montoya has his first game point, 14 serving four. Fourteen four, as you said. Ooh, four. that was close. It was very close, it but was close. I I uh, probably agree with the short serve, but it was very close.
And that's it. That's, that's it, game one. That's Montoya takes this one 15 4. Players take a two minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvels. Today we're in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity, and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents, including North and South America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive and sought after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at KWM Gutter Man. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marvel. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Dreger is a regular tournament player of the Chicago area and has extended his support to the IRT and the Shamrock Shootout in a significant way. A busy lawyer, his firm Dreger Law has been a vigilant bodyguard for its clients throughout Chicago and northern Illinois for over 30 years, providing strategic legal advice and counsel when he is not competing this weekend. And he played the Pro-Am on Thursday night, by the way. You will find him learning from the pros during their matches. And, of course, John and Kay O'Donnell were especially grateful to the ISRA and NMRA Hall of Fame member Colonel John O'Donnell Jr., who has been a teacher at racquetball at the University of Illinois for years and continues to play at the university, even though he's in retirement. We once estimated that he had introduced over a 1,000 players to the game through his wow. classes and clinics. He and his wife, Kay, will not be able to attend this weekend, but he assures me that he is training for upcoming events and is ready to take on all corners. And you know what, Kerry? I gotta, can't say this enough. You know, introducing youngsters to the game of professional racquetball, just to watch it as a fan, and teachers and coaches introducing them as a lifestyle, as a sport, as a healthy activity, something that always gives me the chills, and I love it. I support all those and people. And it's so easy to do. It is. It is so, I, I mean, anybody that has taken a kid into the court, Yeah. You message right now and tell me that you found a kid that didn't love it, mm -hmm. didn't want to come back at least for another try. And it just has never happened. And I, you know, I too have teached hundreds of people and they're just like shocked at. I always, I, I say it's a fun game, a easy game to learn, but hard to master. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's just what it is. Come in. All you got to do is hit that big, big white wall up front. Let's start there. Hmm. Rodrigo off to. Yeah, Rodrigo off to a quick start here. Yeah. Two aces in a row. Wow, Montoya is just uh, <laughs> unforgiving. Oh, oh man, it looks like uh, Andres maybe has a little Is it technical blood. Um, yes, uh, right now uh, I think a uh, medical timeout is going to be awarded. He seems to be bleeding from the nose. Yep. And, Nothing uh, major. No, 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 he's no. just getting some attention. To, uh, yeah. Commissioner is there to look at him. Seems there is a bit of uh, blood coming in. We'll let you know as uh, soon as we get in more information. He just and you walked. said that qualifies as a yeah. Uh, it's a medical time, time in medical injury, injury timeout, time which he has yep. 15 minutes total. Because well, you know, even though athletes when they, you know they're diving, they ha their their bleeds, their knees bleed, referee stops the match and has right. to give him you know a medical right. attention. So uh, he's okay though. He walked out on his own. He just noticed he was bleeding and. Uh, Referees right there, commissioners right there, medical attention. So let's just take a short break, and we'll be back after this.
Gentlemen, live once again here. Medical timeout was taken. It seems just like a couple minutes, Carry uh, Acuna noticed that, and then he got medical attention to resume play. Yeah, so that gives Rodrigo his third point here, 3-0. Nice pickup by Andres. He's got the opportunity to put that away and gets a reset instead. Well, this is the best rally we've seen of the match. Both players with great gets and having their opportunity to put the ball away. Rodrigo's wondering if when the ball went between his legs, if it hit Andres. <laughs> no, it didn't. And, uh, you, you know. So just to make a clarification from uh, the commissioner, Pablo Farca, he told me right now that that timeout is not a medical timeout. Okay. It's a referee timeout. It doesn't have to do, because it was, it was not an accident. He didn't fall. He didn't okay. hit himself. He didn't get hit by the rack of the ball. So referee called for a uh, timeout as a referee timeout. So That's a good clarification. So, so yeah. let's just say, you know, God forbid that uh, Cunha, you know, he rolls his ankle or something. He would have a full 15 minutes total. Okay. Right? So back to the action right now as Acuna tries to get back in this. And he does. He scores his first point yeah. of this game. One serving three. Oh, that was the right shot. Yeah. Uh, just, again, just missed, too, but that's the shot. Rodrigo was all over him right there, ready for that down the line or the pinch on the right-hand side, so cross court was the one to do, but just, just missed. And now, oh, just checking again. Mm -hmm. Short serve. I think we're going to get another junk from Rodrigo. That seems to be his second serve uh, go-to. It's either a junk yeah. Z or that junk kind of in the middle of the court. What an interesting shot from Montoya. He went down the line with that back and all the way. His, his back was almost against that right mm -hmm. wall. And Acuna, I don't think he expected that one. Smart play. Montoya up 4-1. to one. This is game two of the second of our quarterfinals. That seemed, mm. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Mm, I didn't say nothing, but yeah, uh, no appeal. And uh, you know, I've I, I I've said it before too. You know, the refs are just doing the best they can. You, yeah. you call them as you see it. It uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Move on. <laughs> Move Second on. serve. Do that instead. Yeah. Little reset there by Andres. Yeah, I gave Rodrigo that setup. I saw that coming. Uh, just the ball, hit the reset from Andres just ended up too far in the middle of the court. And instead of being, you know, pushing Rodrigo back, it gave him a setup instead. A serve. I think that is uh, four this yeah. game. So far. I think four, yeah, four just this game. Ah! 
That's a short serve. This is my first time at this tournament. I've played at this mm -hmm. club before, other tournaments. Um, but I was walking out with uh, somebody that said earlier, uh, the weather's gorgeous. They were like, every time we come here, that's cold and it it's is rainy. Cold. And it's, it's, it's snowing. Snowing. I remember a couple years back it was snowing at this time. Well, it was it's gorgeous today. I'm going to oh, say about is. 55 degrees, full sunshine. Very sun sunny. Coming in through the Very sunny, the yeah. We went out earlier for lunch, and we were just in a regular shirt. Ooh. Yeah, is he, uh, what are we giving that one? He's going to avoidable. He's right in front of him, though. Yeah. Is he going to appeal or not? I don't know that he needs to. No. He's just looking. Montoya's looking to see if he yeah, should appeal or not. Yeah, he's looking around. He's asking. Looking at and his he's corner. He's looking at everybody. Should yeah. I? Should I? Yeah, I don't think he needs to at no, this I don't point. No, he doesn't need to. Um, and, uh, you know. Oh, and ended up turning into a point for Andres. Remember, if you're watching, make sure and like, share, comment, tell people about it. We're on uh, YouTube as well mm -hmm. as Facebook. So it's uh, fun to see the numbers grow as, as the game progresses here. Yeah. And same here. The crowd grows as the game goes on. Like I said, tacos. Let's get done eating tacos and now coming to watch the match. We'll reset. What a great yes. pass, Acuna. I love that pass. Really great. I love how they forego the, the towel being thrown in. We'll just use our shoes. We got it. We'll just make all this squeaky noise. And so we got 4-8. Andres is... Uh, Making his way back in here a little bit. Oh, set up, but nice pickup by Andres. And another good pass by Andres. You know what we haven't talked about yet in all the courts that you and I have been together and commentating? I love cement walls. Yeah. I love cement walls. <laughs> oh, me too. This is what I learned on and grew up on. And then, uh, you know, the first time I played on panels when we moved to Omaha, but now that's been 30 years ago. Yeah, it's a good rally there. And he figured out a shot that uh, uh, we'll see if we get to see it again. It's a kind of little bit of an off speed on the right hand side pass. And uh, it's worked for a couple points. <laughs> and in that case, it was a return to serve that. Uh, both ref or both side line judges agree with the ref. Um, and Andres walked up there pretty confidently, like he was for sure it was a two bounce. So I was out of my sight, but yes, that's a short serve. Uh, who does Conrado play next? I thought so. I saw uh, that's why I asked. Alan's over there stretching and. Oh, oh, it's a good jab. I'm but what a cutoff from Rodrigo, and that's what that's intended to do is catch your opponent off guard and 
It's just that split second where you have looked away or you can't catch up to what they're Yeah, that's that's not a penalty in my opinion. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm having a hard time almost giving it as a replay hinder. I felt he was moving up at the same time Rodrigo was moving out, and that was just how it happened. So did he give him a replay? Okay, so we got it is a replay though. Okay, short serve. Yep, and then Conrado just walked in too, changing his shoes. Oh, skip by Andres on the backhand there. You know what I just realized I, f I find interesting? You call them by their last names and I call them by their first names. <laughs> By who? <laughs> Rodrigo. Yeah. Strong. Robbie Collins in the house, too. He's in the house. <laughs> Always fun to see him at tournaments, for sure. Like watching him play, and I like, I like spending time with him outside the court, too. It's fun. Good guy. And I'm kind of feeling the short hair. I told him when I saw him in Sioux Falls, I think that's what made him, like, lightning quick. I, I wondered. He called that on himself. Andres was ready to go for the shot, but uh, Rodrigo called that on himself to, to bounce get. Um, say something. I think we got it fixed. Thanks for letting us know. So all you yeah. got to hear was just one side uh -huh. of this conversation. <laughs> all right, we got uh, Fabio's. Mike back working. So Andres Acuna right now cut that lead from Montoya. Six serving ten. It's too good. Good response. Not a good serve from no. Acuna. He j that ball just bounced off the back wall with a lot of space. Uh, and uh, y space is it. Yeah. yeah. He was too far over. Andres had to give him extra room and he had a couple options there. Yeah. Great dive there by Montoya, but not enough. And Carrie, I want to take this opportunity to let everybody know that uh, we're pleased to be working with the DuPage Sports Commission to ensure that the tournament is publicized in the local community they will have great hotel and dining options available for our competitors and their guests. DuPage Sports Commission, make sure to check them out for deals. You know, that brings up another 
point as well. It's not hard to contact your local newspaper, your local TV stations. I'm telling you, this day and age, they're looking for things to talk about and write about. Yeah. And if you can tell them that somebody's coming to town that, you know, maybe has some clout of some of these players, or just the fact that you're drawing a group of people in from 10 states, 12 yeah. states, whatever it is, to play some racquetball, Th share that with those people. A lot of times, like I said, these newspapers are looking for stories to mm -hmm. write. And uh, with so much online stuff, even if it's not in print, they can put it online. And uh, you, you might just be surprised at what kind of coverage you can get. It's a perfect down the yeah. line. Also, I want to take this opportunity to thank other silver sponsors such as Cheryl Kirk, and Kit Lawson, Dovetail by Design, Mike Kinkin, Tyler Medical Services, George Pappas. Also, racquetball sponsors, uh, Head Pen Racket Sports, Gearbox, and Pro Kenix. And, of course, uh, tonight is uh, Friday night, carry. So it's Taco Burrito King, Danny Ortega. It's Taco Night for all players involved in this tournament. That's very cool. Response graphics and embroidery, AHI contractors, Fellows Roofing, Little Debbies, of course, Janet and Joe Eminger, Zurich Construction, Jose Arteaga, Alok Meta. Ray Meisner and John Thorson, such great contributors to the sport. As you say, Carrie, takes a village. Oh, well, thank you for remembering that yeah. I said that. Takes a village. Oh. Montoya, not enough. Acuna slowly getting back into he this is. one. Seven serving Methodically, ten. Methodically, slowly, purposefully. Yeah, and uh, also want to remind you, please scan that QR code on your screen. Help Team USA represent in Guatemala. Team USA will be participating in the Pan American Cup for the IRF. That is just less than two weeks away, Carrie. So crazy. Uh, I was talking to some of these players that represent their countries, and Montoya, for example, he goes back home on uh, on Monday, and on Wednesday he leaves for Guatemala. So uh, that and goes to show you the dedication. And you had said that a couple of these players have stayed in the in the states. Yeah. Um, preparing for that, preparing which for maybe that. has made a difference in this tournament, or we're oh, wondering. It, it, it that has because you know the thing about having a tournament like uh, from Minneapolis to Chicago is that you have these tournaments that are very little days apart, and they can practice. So. Uh, well, and just the the jet lag. Yeah. Um, that they don't have to deal with then either. It has to make a difference. <laughs> or why? All right, give me the score. I can't read it. Now it's seven serving ten. All right, seven ten. Oh, great. Oh, oh not that enough was a great for Montoya. Pickup, Rodrigo. It's really fun, too, the, all the green that we're seeing around oh here. Yeah. It's fun that they give that. Uh, Really embrace the really. St. Patrick's Day, yeah, uh, you know, idea. So it's fun. We got balloons and the shirts are green, as you can imagine. And and not, and not just that is the fact that, uh, well, they they're painting the river green. Of oh course. yeah, have you not seen that before? I've seen that uh, two years ago was the yeah. last time. I th two three years ago was the last time I yeah, saw that. Yeah, it's very cool. I've it's been actually here really when, cool when they've done that too. Wow. There you go. Great rally. Great Strong stuff. Strong rally. Yeah, real good. This Crowd go likes that as well. Bit of a replay right here. Check this out on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. These, uh, they're playing their hearts out for sure. So we're, we're going to remind everybody, after this match, our following one is Conrado Moscoso versus Alan Natera. According to Seed, one versus eight. So that's going to be a good one, too. Make sure you stay here live with us and tune in. Yeah, it has been an exciting uh, tournament. And uh, if you don't believe us, just go back and look at the draws and 
see who's ended up where, and and uh, there's a little tail there for sure. So I'm glad to see that Andres Acuna has uh, stopped that bleeding that he had, and uh, certainly is moving forward. He's just behind by two. We end the night then with uh, Adam Ania and Andre Correa. And uh, that will be the last match of the night at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. It has been a full day. Started it has. at 11. It has. Started at 11, threw in some doubles there. Oh, yeah. And some singles. Yeah, that doubles was fun, too. It yeah, was really got, fun. We got to see the young kids play Andre yeah. and Adam, which are young kids themselves. And then we got to see uh, well. that Johnson. Oh, come on. If you're, if you're. I, they're young. Wow, great, great stuff. Great pass. Perfect down the line shot again. It's just really, carry the level of, uh, you know, skill <laughs> from that angle at that speed. Wow. Yeah, I would agree. A serve there. Wow. So you said he's creeping back in here. Point yeah, by I mean, point, one at a time. So Acuna's only down by one. Right. Right? And it started off much different. Oh. Down the line winner again. Montoya. Keeping it cool, keeping it real. Of course, uh, Zurich Construction, of course, tournament sponsors. We always uh, thank them for uh, concern the safety of our uh, athletes. IRT will be back in Costa Rica June 12th to the 15th. It's a tier one this year. That's also so cool. Andres Acuna's is home country. Make sure to check that out. Make a vacation out of it, Carrie. Don't give me an excuse you about how nice it is in Nebraska. Omaha. <laughs> it's you not Central America. Uh, no, it is not. Montoya. Is there the amateurs in that tournament? Yes. It is. It's a Costa so Rican Open. Amateurs are how pros. How many players typically? Uh, I don't know, but uh, okay. yeah, they do get quite the response. Oh. Their junior program is growing really cool, by the way. Love, uh, love to hear that. Yeah. Yeah, the junior program has been growing a lot. They've been getting more players with better uh, level of play. They, they had a really, really, really good run at uh, Junior Worlds from the IRF back in November. Mm-hmm. Really good run, and they're impressive. Yeah, we can do it too, U.S. Just get those kids out there. Put a bracket in their hand. That's a skip by Montoya. Big skip, too. <laughs> he wound up for that one. He's asking if he has a timeout. Yep, all right, and he's going to take a timeout. Timeout requested by Acuna. Players will take a minute break, and we will too. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Fabio Soto and Kerry Reitmeyer here. And uh, number two versus number seven. You know, I love it when these things go according to seed. It just shows you the level of consistency that these athletes have, Montoya and uh, Acuna. And uh, let me tell you, Kerry, it's uh, Acuna's fighting back. He's just two behind. He's, not, he's nine serving 11. 
Also want to thank this opportunity to thank everybody watching and tuning in. Remember, like our post, share our feed, keep following us on social media. After this one, Conrado Moscoso will take on Alan Natera. They're warming up, Carrie. They are warming up. And you're going to interview after this is yes. done, too, the winner. So stick around for that. That's always fun to hear kind of the player's perspective. Wow. And Gary, yeah, strong. Acuna is such a fighter. He is a fighter. You. He's a fighter. And it's uh, impressive how he doesn't give up. He's backtracking, going, running backwards. He just manages to kill those shots. It's impressive. Short serve. Great. Set up for Andres, and he took advantage of a great job. Listen, shot. fantastic timeout, 11-11. Good timeout for Acuna. Momentum definitely shifting in his favor right here. And I know there's at least one person at this table that uh, hopes this goes 11-10 tiebreaker. <laughs> Not enough. Yeah. I think Montoya took a risky shot right there. He was way back. And, and, and Acuna had good court position. And uh, with that, Acuna takes the lead for the first time uh, probably this match. Yeah. I think. So far, right now. Certainly this game. It is him. So make sure to scan that QR code on your screen and help Team USA represent in Guatemala. Of course, they're playing in less than two weeks, Gary, at the mm -hmm. Guatemala City at the IRF Pan American Cup. So that's always a treat for you guys. I just can't all. believe how fast that came up. Yeah, <laughs> I know. And, you know, Team USA, pretty awesome. I saw the roster. Yeah. The Brett and Becks are playing. Charlie Pratt is playing. Uh, Michelle Key, he, Lexi yeah. York, Naomi Ross. It's a, it looks like a very solid U.S. team that's going to represent. And I know some of the countries. Uh, also, some of the players represent. They're here, yeah. Chicago, yep. right? Some of the uh, of the women for the LPRT, they're currently. And by the way, shout out to Beach Bash. Yes, I was Sh watching a little of that back yeah. at the hotel room. Shout out to games. Beach Bash for uh, doing uh, that famous outdoor tournament that I've I've had the pleasure of being in. Oh yeah. And uh, they're, they're playing their hot side right now in Hollywood Beach, Florida. So shout out to everybody. Uh, Rocky Carson. Yeah. He's uh, playing at the Beach Bash. I did see He's Vero teaming up with Jessica Parrilla. Saw that. That's a cool, cool pairing right Michelle there. Michelle Keys out there. Yeah. Um, so Josh Sudzi and Vero. Yeah, a lot of the girls are there. So, uh, you well, know, salute you, to them. And back to you know, the QR code that you had up there before, too. You know, things are things are different in our country. Yeah. And, and what our players have to do to get to these tournaments is not what you see with the the other countries so um you know i just don't ask questions if you want to donate donate but don't criticize if you don't want to help them out if you can again these guys are out there wearing uh, usa on their back mm -hmm. very proudly and uh could use your support so some of the young guns are here too i mean you got uh cole sandry of course yeah. a junior player yeah right um you got some of the, uh, the, one, of the, one of the kids that you you know personally as well lucas yeah yeah He's uh, his first g game is tomorrow night. We're mm -hmm. excited to watch him. He grows. He grows every single tournament he plays, as you can imagine, at that age. They're just sponges and they absorb all this. And he's really fun to watch. And he's doing just a really nice job. You have to come watch him. You won't be. here, But yeah, have to. Uh, Andres Acuna leading 13 to 11. And speaking of juniors, the uh, junior tournament will be in Pleasanton again this uh, June, June 26th through the 30th. That's a qualifier for Worlds? Um, yes, that's the qualifier Very for cool. Worlds. And it's at um, Adam and Nia Pablo's yeah, club. the Bay Club. The Bay Club, yep. yeah. Yeah, Bay so, Club. So um, if you've got any kids out there, and it's not just, it, it, yes, it's a qualifier for Worlds, but it's also the time where kids get to play kids. Yeah. That's not, Lucas is not playing no. any other 13-year-olds this weekend. Oh, no, of course so, not. So, yeah, so that is the time. If you've got juniors out there, 
This is more of, we actually have called it a festival. It's more yeah. of a tournament that brings kids together. We have an ice cream social at night. They're going to do some fun, um, almost craft-like things. They've, we've got a radar gun that we put out there. And just a really fun time for kids who like to play racquetball to get together. Check it out. I'm not sure what he wanted there. I thought the serve looked good. We'll see how this rally ends up. And if, oh. Montoya can't get that one. So he is appealing that the serve is short. I thought Rodrigo it was short. playing the short I, serve. I did Call not. stands. Call stands. I see at least As one of the referees. Serve. Yeah. Yeah, I, d I thought it was good too. Tell me the score right, real quick. So, Kadim Carrasco, the referee, is telling Rodrigo Montoya that he's out of appeals. Okay. All right. Score right now is Acuna serving 13 to 12. That is the score. So, no more appeals from Montoya. So, he's at the mercy of the referee. Yeah, I, I, you know, and again, they, they, they see things differently. I thought it, uh, now I'll go back and yeah. be proved wrong, but I really thought it looked good, like, without. From this angle, it seemed that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. From this angle. I always have to say from this I angle. You, and you say it a lot, so yeah. I, I should pick that up, too. You are right, because we can only. Oh, what a pickup. Wow. Oh, what a pickup, That though. is great. <laughs> Let's take a look at a bit of a replay oh, here, that'd Carrie. that'd be awesome. Yeah, he got there. Wow, yeah, that was fun to see on the replay. That was a great, yeah. great get there. That was great. So we are, do we have a side, uh, yeah, side out. Uh, I believe, but what I am seeing is that the referee ordered Andres Acuna to change his shirt. I think that's a good call, to be honest. And they can do that, and yeah. that's both rules, IRT mm -hmm. and USAR, USA yeah. racquetball rules. Um, the, player, the, the player did not ask for it. The referee ordered him, Correct. just to make sure. Yep. Just making sure everybody knows that the referee orders you to change your shirt. Uh, and this is why and this is why he does it, because there's certain delays of game. We've seen a lot of towel timeouts. Of course, Acuna is a diver. Rodrigo Montoya, <laughs> we all know he's a natural diver, so... You know, this is something that would speed up play. Well, speed up play, and then also if there's a dive in the middle of a long rally, yeah. then that's a safety thing too because exactly. you, you aren't <laughs> cleaning that up in between shots. So, yep, that's a, I, I love I love it when you point that out because, yeah. again, there's so many people that play this. I mean, literally still millions of people that play this game, but there's rules like that that they yeah. just are unaware of. So I like, I like when we share that information. Well, now we need that little clip of the more you know and the star with the rainbow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The more you know. And remember what GHO said back in the 80s. No, Knowing I don't. is half the battle. Okay. All right. When you know better, you do better. Do you know who said that? Who? Mia Angelo. Really? Yes. Hmm. And it's one of my favorites. When you know better, you do better. Wow. wow. <laughs> Acuna just pummeling that one. This must Rolled be his out. lucky shirt. 13 serving. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 13 serving 12. Yes. 13 serving 12. Acuna. Yeah, short serve. Oh, hey, Tim Matfeld. Thanks for pointing that out. We've got several juniors here mm -hmm. um, playing this weekend. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Love seeing the, the kids and the energy around. So thanks for pointing that out, sharing that. Wow, good pickup. 
Andre's just had him on. Well, he's taking a timeout, but he, Andre's just had him on the ropes yeah. the entire rally and there. And right now he is with game point number one. Players take a one-minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. We are back. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been turning up to be quite the match right now so far. Look at the score. Acuna lost the first game 4-15. to 15. Now he is almost on the verge of taking game 2, 14-12. to 12. Both of these men have taken their respective timeouts. So right now we are at the mercy of the referee. Yeah, we'll see this one through the duration. And... Uh, the, the way the momentum has shifted just a little bit at the end here. It hasn't been the whole game that it's been Andres in control, but it certainly has been these last several points. And with that um, shift, I, I, I see a tiebreaker in our future. Mm -hmm, yeah. We'll see what he does here. Clearly a drive serve. I don't know if I've ever seen him hit a lob serve. <laughs> Not very often. Here we go for the game. Set up and a great pass. And there it is, excellent yep. pass. Andres yep. Acuna takes game number two, 15-12. We're for two minute break. We'll Here be we back, go. Fabio and Kerry on IRT Live. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow. Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get our six-piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 25% on our brand new kitchen towels, made with the same technology as our famous My Towels. Also, we have bath sheets, bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, and so much more. And the best part, with your promo code, your entire order ships absolutely free. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use that promo code to get deep discounts on all my towels. And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. So, Kerry, I just want to mention we saw that lovely video of uh, a little tribute and loving memory to Jeff Peters, and I had the pleasure to personally know that man for years uh, for racquetball tournaments. I've I got to tell you, Kerry, I have not seen such a more dedicated man to racquetball as Jeff Peters for over 30 years running tournaments, uh, LPRT, IRT, you name it, and uh, they've given a chance, uh, you know, in this club. You know, I, I say in part thanks to him, and uh, he did a lot of good work. And I got a was honored to meet him, and uh, and uh, you know, meet him at his house one time, and uh, he took us to a Cubs game one time. Just a great human being, and uh, you know, this this glass court is dedicated to him. You know, I got to meet him as well, and I have the same sentiments that you do. All right, 
Well, I want to give you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, a quick update. Uh, I want to congratulate Veronica Sotomayor for defeating Michelle Key uh, with a women's singles pro title in one wall, a uh, score of 21 to 16. So congratulations to Veronica. Yeah, and I, I just came across the mixed doubles uh, one wall again. Rocky and Jessica Perea, interesting little team yeah. there. And they beat uh, Michelle Key and Rick uh, the Soda Man. Yeah, Soda Man. So that was in the semis, though. Yep. Uh, what Veronica won is the final. So she's a two-time uh, one-wall champion. Oh, that was the final. That Didn't was the final. that it's only Friday. But I forget they kind of end them. Yep. Okay. There's Acuna to the serve. Short. Wow. Acuna is the first one to draw blood here. <laughs> kind of literally and figuratively, right? Oh. Hey, right? <laughs> there you go. You, you, you forgot. You caught it. You caught it. <laughs> you caught it. Wow, Acuna. Focused. Remember, remember Acuna is a... He's the current World Games champion. He won the World Games in Birmingham, Alabama. Such an, such an incredible year. Final was against Rodrigo Montoya, by the way. So you see, they have met, but not on the Pro Tour. Yeah, and I should clarify that because uh, I forget that that's what those stats yeah. are. That it doesn't include the Tour. Or, I'm sorry, outside the Tour. Down the line winner, Acuna, the right play at the right time. Yeah, that momentum has stayed in his favor. Yeah. 3 0, quick, quick lead here quick in lead. the tiebreaker. What would you see? Would like to see Rodrigo do to change this momentum? Or you know what? I would like to see a couple of jam serves to uh, Acuna. I mean, he has a powerful drive serve, of course, one of his ultimate weapons. But I'd like to see you throw him off a little bit. I just think that Rodrigo has not been aggressive with the serve. Oh, go! Oh, he tried to play cute with that yeah. one. Well, I thought I he was going to go for the back wall, which would have been way, way easier. But, well, you know, the element of surprise yeah. is curiously not in the periodic table, but that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's like a dad, a bad dad joke. Is it? It sounds like it. All right. Well, thank you, Carrie, for joining us <laughs> here at the booth. And she's out. <laughs> and she's out. <laughs> Got the mic. <laughs> what? You can't hear me. That's funny. It's a skip. Montoya getting on the board here in game three, one serving two. Let us know who you're picking. What are your thoughts in the chat box? Yeah, Let us know. Probably. What are you thinking? Is it going to be Acuna? Is it going to be Montoya? Give us a score. What do you think? How, how do you think this one will end? I pick 11-10. Of course you do. Montoya tying this one to a piece. Kind of that mid lob, junk Z, whatever you want to call it. There you have it, folks. Montoya now leading three to two. Remember, this tiebreaker is to 11.
Well, that was a really good pickup by Andre. It was. And, and he's uh, done several of those. Yeah. You know, Montoya has attempted to pass him. He just he moves laterally really, really mm -hmm. well. So it gives him that opportunity, that chance. But he's not going to kill those shots all the time. You know, he needs to do a ceiling shot every now and then to give him time to get into better court position sure. and be in better offense. And, uh, yeah, you know, in some of that, you, you said it, he moves really well laterally, and that's the, that's the power of his legs. He's really strong there. And You mean those tree trunks? That, yeah, I didn't say that. But, yeah, you know, he just pushes off well and can move strong. Well, here's a little reset going on. Rodrigo. Great pick up. Now he's got an opportunity to put it away. And he does. Not enough right there. Wow, what a great job of yeah, Acuna nice moving rally. Rodrigo Montoya around. Wow. That was a great rally. Great stuff. Let's take a look at this again. And Montoya somehow, some way, pulls that out of the back. But that's the perfect shot there from uh, Acuna to go cross court into the right side and get that one. I was going to say, too, we've got um, collegiates going on in St. Louis. USAR well. is doing intercollegiates. So uh, shout out to all the young men and women out there playing their hearts out this yeah. weekend in St. Louis. I picked up a few of those games while I was back at the hotel room, too, watching. So watching two that. weeks ago, okay. right? Two yeah. weeks ago, we had the men in Minneapolis, yes. the women in Boston, then the kids in St. Louis for the high school yep. nationals. Yep. Now we got the men in Chicago, we got the outdoor players in Beach Bash in Florida, and now we have, of course, intercollegiates in St. Louis. So shout out to everybody, this great racquetball weekend. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it it was enough. He, it was he's, enough. he's like, geez, why did it take me that many <laughs> shots? But, uh, yeah, I was hoping he would do something a little different when he had the opportunity over here. But yeah. left it up enough for Rodrigo to get it. And he probably took two extra shots that he didn't want to or need to there. Well, Carrie, eh. you know, one of the things that uh, – make this tournament special of course is this uh, glass court that has hosted you know over 35 years of professional racquetball is just amazing you know we can't wait to see what will happen the 40th anniversary which will be next year right so they have to make your plans make your plans come Def watch come play come hang out you won't be disappointed <laughs> And it's in the middle of the country, so we don't have a lot of excuses for yeah. to this, to that, to... Two major airports. Yeah, right. right. Two right. major airports. Adam Mania in the house. Adam Mania in the house. He will play Andre Parria later. So double fault called. Yeah, first time this match and first time, you know, in a long time. That doesn't yeah. happen very often with this, this level. Wow. Yeah, Rodrigo looked at that line like he wanted to wonder if he was over it. I don't think he was. I think those guys, when they go up and do that, they're very careful yeah. about because obviously if you're over, they're going to be able to call it. So mm -hmm. they get right, get their toes right on that line and wait for that ball to <laughs> cross. So let's see if he can turn this into a point. Boy, he is just. Wow, Acuna blasting that one. Blasting, that is the word I was looking for. Wow, it's just. Very powerful. Acuna ties it up, 4-4. Four, 4-4. Four. Four, four. It's a race to seven. Both of these gentlemen have their timeouts, respectively. Tough serve. Oh, but there is. No, there are no court hinders no in the court IRT. Hinders. Look at uh, poor guy looking at uh, the commissioner. Yeah. But we had that earlier in the nope. doubles match. You it's even in the it's even the rule book. There's no court hinders yeah. in IRT. I know. There's not really much that Rodrigo can do. Amend. Amend. <laughs> Let's amend that rule. No, it's hard. Because sometimes, you know, when we talk about that even at, at, at our amateur play. Yeah. We, we pretty much play that at our courts, too, because you don't know if it's the spin of the ball. Yes. That made it go funny or if it was that it hit yeah. the weird 
you know, cracking the glass. Listen, so it's you, like you, get, you gotta play with what you got. Just is what it is, yeah. yeah. I remember uh, years ago when we had pro stops in Stockton, California, some of the courts had doorknobs inside. Oh, jeez. <laughs> they had to have played those and, over, though. And, uh, well, well, not in the RIT. Uh, serious. So for amateur play, for amateur play, you you could bargain that, but uh, well, yeah, and yeah. the and the rules, as I believe they still say in USA racquetball mm -hmm. rules, is if the ball changes direction, if it hits something, yeah. uh, you know, obviously, and the ball changes direction. But like I said, sometimes you don't know if it changed direction because of the spin that the player yeah. put on it, mm -hmm. or if it was the weird crack in the back wall. That's so true. it's hard. Acuna six serving four. So it'll be interesting to see how their first meet mm -hmm. in the Sorry. IRT will end up. And again, that momentum is <laughs> leaning Andres this way, but uh, and then that happens. <laughs> wow, Acuna. I, I don't blame him for going for that shot. I thought he was going to go down the line, mm -hmm. to be honest. Me too. That's what That's I what's thought. what's worked for him. Yeah, so far, but oh well. Back to the drawing board here. Four serving six. Ace serve. Clean serve to the right. Wow. No hesitation there. Acuna is not appealing anything. You can't. Montoya cannot yeah, get a bounce. successful that. Wow. Double bounce. Six serving five. Carrie, this is uh, maybe going to 11 10. You never know. I like it. I like the back and forth. Yeah. And like you said it earlier in the match, just very different styles. Different styles. And, uh, you know, this is what it gets you is a 6 5. Like you said the tiebreaker is. <laughs> Not enough. Acuna can't <laughs> reach that one. Little groan there as well. Thanks again to everybody watching. It's fun spending your Friday night with oh, us. Oh, definitely. IRT wants to remind you that we will be in Costa Rica June 12th to the 15th. Andres Acuna's his home country right there at the country club, by the way. Awesome club. Awesome yeah. venue. Awesome everything. It's just such a beautiful country in Central America. I've been there a couple times myself. So let me tell you, Carrie, you that have not been there, I definitely recommend. You know what? Stay just a couple days more at least. Go to see the volcanoes. Yep. Go to the rapids. Mm -hmm. You know, go all that fun stuff. Make and some uh, chocolate. Oh, Make chocolate, some coffee. Some of the yeah. best coffee you'll ever have. Well, not me, but. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. Montoya to the serve, trailing five to six. Oh, it's escaped by just Acuna. Barely. So we're tied at six, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, it's a race to five now. Acuna. Yeah, Rodrigo setting up for that drive serve again. Yep, just missed, just missed. I'm standing up, so I saw that one pretty well. Montoya missing that, that missed one. Missed as well, yeah. Plagued by errors right now, Montoya. And, you know, making those mistakes, unforced errors in a tiebreaker at 6-6, six, six, no good. Not a lot of people predicting for us. There, nobody wants to go out on a limb and say, <laughs> this, is, this is what I think. This is how it's going. Right player for uh, Acuna. Now he's ahead once more, 7-6. Great response. Is he? No. Oh, he's asking for he, a screen serve. 
Okay, so Andrus is appealing his the own screen serve, his own serve. No, call stands. Loss of an appeal. He's not happy. And remember that screen serve has to be, um, I, is the word wanted by the receiver. Yeah. Because just because you served a screen serve and ace oh, comes back with that tough. Wow. Ties it back up at seven. Clean serve, I got to tell you. Good pass. Nice. I don't. I don't like Rodrigo's response right I there. I don't either. And I liked. Um, you know, Andres had himself set up over here. Yeah. And I thought that shot. He it was going to be his, the one he chose to shoot. And instead, he waited for that next one to come and took that down the line. That's got him several points this match. Wow. A lot of shot. power behind that shot right Eight there. Eight serving seven. Rodrigo might want to consider very soon asking for a timeout if this gets out of hand. I think if uh, Acuna Scores reaches reaches point, point number nine, I think Montoya should definitely take a timeout. We'll see. Ooh. Again, that's just out of our sight, but looked like it was very close to being an ace serve. Second serve. Oh. That's the right shot wow. down the line. That is the right shot. Nine serving seven now. Yeah, we'll see if you get your timeout. Well, let's see. Uh, <laughs> wow. Impressive play here on the replay, as you can see. And I think that took Acuna long enough to make that, you know, that down the line shot. He probably could have hit that one a couple of shots before. But, you know, timing is of the essence right now. And uh, it seems that we're at the stretch of this. I see your, you have a friend out there. Oh, somebody's got some bad feedback. We, I'm not sure if we're hearing it, if you're hearing it or not, but uh, give us just one second. Uh, so I just see somebody here, Dan uh, Munster is predicting 1110. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. <laughs> it does. It truly does. And no timeout yet here. Nine serving seven. And I thought that maybe Montoya was going to. As for a timeout, it doesn't seem that way. Andres to, oh, back to the ceiling. Thought he might shoot that one. Now he's got one he's going to shoot. Great gets. Not enough right there, Montoya. Yeah, nice rally. Wow. Cla crowd likes that rally. We got some, some cheers and some clapping here. Crowd definitely loves that one. There's just a lot of back and forth throughout this mm -hmm. match, Carrie. And I, I clearly can and, see and that. You know with what, the and what, I, what I love is that they're both taking their time, but they're being very cerebral about this. A lot of, I see a lot of uh, neurons being burned in this court because they're trying to figure themselves out, to be honest. But we're getting close here to the end. 7-9. As it uh, brings Rodrigo back into the service box. Mm -hmm. See if he can capture one or two. And if not, you're still probably hoping he takes that time out. But he's got a plan. Montoya.
coming up with the second serve. That probably that junk Z. Mid lob Z. What I is it called? I think he gets it's that a ball. Po it's a point. I think he gets that ball. Yeah. Uh, I think he stabs at it and gets that ball. Not a penalty, not but no. no. Not seeing an appeal. No? Oh, boy, I am totally being outvoted. All right. Here's where he needs to put it away, or here. And that one does it, side out there. There you go. Acuna. See, so the ball never lies. No, ball <laughs> never lies. We've, we've said that so many times. <laughs> yeah. The ball knows, the ball knows. So I want to thank this opportunity to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Remember to like our post, share our feed, keep following us on social media. This is Fantastic Friday. Two more great matches coming up next. Moscoso versus Natera, Parrilla versus Manilla. And so far, the first two have gone tiebreaker. The tiebreaker, breaker, yeah. Yeah. And I think the... Uh, First match went tiebreaker with a eight seed and a 20 seed, was he? 30. 30 seed. And this tiebreaker going, what would you yeah. tell me, this, this what we have here, two and seven? Two and seven. Two and seven, yeah. Next one is one and eight, and the last one is four and five. I knew they were four and five. One and eight. All right, that'll be interesting, too. Really cool, huh? Short serve. The only top seed that is missing is seed number three, which was Jake Bredenbeck. He was taken out by Jonathan Flores. Yeah, that 30 seed we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Just uh, same guy that took a game off of Kane and took it to the tiebreaker. So, again, watch out for him. A mistake by Acuna gives Montoya point number nine. And tied up. Nine serving nine. Short serve. We're about an hour, 30 minutes in. No game, kidding. Game number one was 18 minutes long. Game one. I'm shocked that it's been that long. It doesn't Seem feel like it. No, it really doesn't. Oh, Montoya well, can't reach that one. Yeah, was there some slippage there? Or? Looks like it. Yeah, both of these are divers for sure, and they're you know not making it easy for one another. And uh, I'm glad that the crowd is here. That a lot of people are here watching live, and it's just amazing what we have accomplished. And uh, you know, Colorado Moscoso and La Terra are next, and after that, uh, Parrilla and Manilla, our last match of Fantastic Friday, and. Uh, I got to tell you, Carrie, I, I thought this match was not going to go to tiebreaker. And uh, it seems a uh, well, timeout is being called. Yes, oh, timeout is right. being called. Yep. So players take a one-minute break. We will, too. We'll be back shortly here on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck, and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox is felt, and it's there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just 
go after what I want. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here, and uh, we're almost at the end, Carrie. So timeout was requested by Andres Acuña. Yep. Right, so Montoya still has his. And uh, Carrie, what are your thoughts on this timeout at 9-9 tiebreaker? Um, the, for, for the most of the second game and the majority of this game, the momentum, as I said, was in Andres' favor. Yeah. So he maybe was feeling that shift just a little bit, slowly but surely, and... Uh, probably just needed that to regroup and figure out how to get two points and, and get out of here. I was surprised it wasn't Rodrigo that took it. Cross court. Wow. I love that. I love the off speed on that, mm -hmm. right? You, it's not the Rodrigo Montoya pace that we're used to seeing, and that threw off Acuna a little bit. Not a good timeout so far for Acuna. Let's see if he can side out on this one. It's still 9-9. Nine -nine. Set up. Set up. Oh, great pickup off the back wall. Rodrigo with a set up. Oh, tough. Wow. Down wow. the line, winner. What a rally. Yeah. As I, you said, these guys are divers, and yeah. you saw a lot of it right there. That uh, <laughs> was a really nice rally with Andres coming out the winner. Let's see uh, that replay here on the screen. It's just, Acuna, look at this down the line shot. Beautiful. Just clean shot on the right side. I love how he put his whole body into that shot and just blasted it down the line. It's, you know, timeout since. You know, he lost the serve. Now he regained it. It's just an opportunity for Acuna to push and move forward. You know, we haven't seen Acuna reach a semifinal in a while. Right. So this is good for him. Let's see if uh, he can take this momentum in his favor. Yeah, and we've been at 9-9 nine, nine, nine for several side outs. serve from Acuna. Blasted it. Down the line, winner. No doubt about that one. Montoya is not happy, and he's taking his time out. Players take a one-minute break. We will as well. We'll be back here on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're live once again here. Gary, we're at the end. We right are at now. the end. This is it. So Tell make sure you done. scan that QR code. Help Team USA represent in Guatemala. In under two weeks, they will be in Guatemala City at the IRF Pan American Cup. You're seeing right now Acuna, who will be there, Montoya, who will be there. They're confirmed. And this is match point number one, Gary. There, there you have it, it folks, and that is the match. Andres Acuna does it. Makes it again another appearance in the semifinals after a while. Wow, wow, congratulations. Carrie, what a tremendous play. That was a tremendous play. And again, the it the momentum shifted somewhere in that second mm -hmm. game. And it's it, it wasn't super strong, but it stayed there. And uh Andres comes out with a win. Nice match. That was a really fun match between two guys that again have very different um, skill sets and play of, of different game you are going to be talking with andre so we'll get his yeah. take and see what he uh we'll take a bit of a commercial break and we'll be back with the interview for the winner andres acuna on irt live my name is jake brenbeck and i play with gearbox 
I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox has felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome everybody, I'm here with the winner of this quarterfinal, Andres Acuña. Andres, congratulations. Gave us an exciting tiebreaker, 11-9. Wow, first off, you lost the first game, 4-15, to but you came back in the second one, just pushed through. First off, how are you feeling? Hey, I'm very, very happy. You know, it's, it has been uh, quite a bit. I, I wasn't in semifinals, and I play all of the tournament, so, so I'm very happy now. And it was a very tough match. Uh, I had a tough day. Uh, I did play Thomas, who is home favorite here. He was playing good, and I was into a tie break. Then we pulled the tie break also in doubles, and now with with Rodrigo also. So that kind of helped me that I have gone through that situation during the day. So I was a little bit confident on that, but I was lucky to be uh, to have time enough to to get back. Well, Andres, you know we've seen you play so well over the past few years, and we haven't seen you, as you mentioned, in the semifinal in a while. You're the World Games champion, and that you know adds its own merit. So right now, how are you feeling for tomorrow? You, you healthy? You're good? Yes, yes, I'm good. And every time, every time I'm here in the in a tournament, I'm really happy. I I really enjoy the opportunity to be here. You know, it's like like a dream since I was eight, nine years old. So so I'm happy, and it's those of one days that. However you wake up, tired or whatever, thing, you, you will be ready to, to give it all. Andres, anybody you want to give a shout out to back home and thank anybody? Uh, I want to thank to my family, to my supporters, my sponsors, uh, my wife. Uh, they all are cheering for me, so I'm very happy for them. All right, thank you, Andres. The winner of the second of the quarterfinals match coming up next, Conrado Moscoso and Ana Tera here on IRT Live.